Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we get a lot of quests turned in, which always feels nice. We also realized that we did sort of a comical shh dog. Um, a comical error on part of the Romeo and Juliet quest, which is all fine, so get ready to have a bit of a laugh probably. And uh, my real self, my actual self, who is not doing this intro, will be live in a second. Am I allowed? This is private property. By what authority? My authority. Uh, am I? Do I get to talk to him now? I don't know. <laughs> Zombies, huh? You did get the Resident Two, Resident Evil Two remake. I know, right? I actually did watch some of that. I let's Freud this dream up. No, Stelzman. No, don't bring Freud back up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, conscription duty can be hard. Some have compared it to being in jail. Uh, every year some... I mean, once... I mean, it sucks, but, like, you just gotta get through it, right? Like, if you're you know, during the conscription thing, like, yeah, you just gotta do it. Typically, zombies eat people, so within a Freud sense, it would be... If the zombie represented a problem or situation that was not dealt with, that was eating them... Ooh, ooh, see? See, I love... I actually do kind of think that's fun to, like, analyze with, like, Freud. You can, like... Like, in that way, where it's like, ooh, you can try to, like, interpret the dreams and, like, see what it is. And you know what? But that's, it's so vague almost as to be, like, meaningless. Because I think everybody has something they've left undone that is eating them up inside. So, but, like, I told, like, I can think of, like, six things right now that I wish I could do. Like, that, I, that are, like, sort of, like, I have anxiety because, like, I haven't done them. So, like... Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's truly what it is. Or it could be a variety of other things, like, um, I don't know, a fear a fear of, like, the Unheimlich, right? Where, like, everything is, like, twisted on its head. That's what zombies generally are, is, like, a fear of, like, everything that's normal being twisted on its head. Anyway, I'm going to play the game. I come on behalf of the Jedi Council. I wish to speak to Ahla and Matale. You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matale wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. Why are the robots British? Wow, he's he's made a fancy entrance for himself. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandrils as to the whereabouts of my son Oopsie! Shen. Uh, oopsie, <laughs> I should have been here first. Uh, <laughs> any information you might have would be helpful. I have already told my story to the council. Why did they not inform you of my circumstances? I did not expect such incompetence from the Jedi, but I shall repeat the tale once more. Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. Somehow I imagine the story from the Sandrils would sound just about the same. Don't the you? Tea. The injustices the Sandrils have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. Uh, they look like Cylons? I'm not sure what Cylons are. British in Star Wars usually means evil. It really does, yes. What were they doing? I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. At least you're efficient. <laughs> it was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. I Have I ruined this by, like, not... Like, I, I went to the Sandrals first, and that's where all the stuff actually happened. 
but I maybe should have gone to the, uh, or no, yeah, I should have gone to the Metalis first, apparently. Oopsie. Have I read the rumors going around that DF4 will be officially announced at the end of this year? I'm hoping within Mind Fires that we're going to get a tiny bit more of an announcement at E3 this year. Crossing my fingers. Crossing my fingers. Cylons are the Battlestar Galactica robots. And the proper ones weren't in the reboot, but we got sexy robots instead. I mean, you know, you got to trade. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, pros and cons, balancing it out. <laughs> DA4 live service, don't say, don't say it out loud, Rain. Jump into conclusions. Why does the council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know oh how things are done. Oh my gosh. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. No. Whether the Council ever learns of this donation is completely up to Coder, you. Coder! Gibson! Yes, we're finally playing Coder! Uh, the Jedi cannot be bought. I will remain neutral despite your attempted bribe. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. You would be willing to risk open war over this? It is the Sandrals who have started this, not I. And here I thought you would blame us if we failed. It seems everyone is responsible for your Ooh. actions, Ooh. except for you. I don't need to stand here and listen to such impertinence. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. I totally messed this up. Big time. I've ruined everything! <laughs> Karth gets too much hair. I I love Karth. Don't get me wrong. I think Karth Karth has some interesting moments where I'm I want to like shake him, but I I do actually really like him. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, we got this. What? I've met. Okay, there we got a new one. What? We've met and slain the Lamandalorian leader Shuri. He likes to collect lightsabers, and surely would have taken yours and your head had you not slain him. Did I, did I loot his body? Were there... I think I looted the bodies. John would surely like to hear of this and would reward me as well. Okay. I feel like... I don't think I got a quest for this because the game is like, you already finished it. Uh, oh, crap. Well... Uh... Well, the problem, Gibson, is that we actually technically finished this mission. Uh, like, we already had the whole Romeo and Juliet thing go on, where where Shen and Rahasia, like, took off and ran away together. But I hadn't come here first. I went to the, I went to the other estate first, and that's where everything happened. And now I'm like, uh, whoopsie. You guys are all, you guys have terrible ideas. Mobile app, loot boxes, <laughs> battle royale, actually, Stonesmith, a battle royale might be interesting. <laughs> I can't go in there, Zach, I'm gonna try. Dang it. How do you get a Matali pass card? If I destroy you, will I get a pass card? But yeah, welcome, welcome, Zach. Thank you for letting me know. I still have to try, though. This door is probably locked as well. No! Take the credits and leave? No, I will not be bribed! It's not even showing up on my quest list. I have Basil Bastila, Karth, Johnny, the Mandalorian Raiders, Quest for Star Forge, Candors, Gerohanian... Uh, Jolie, Strange Stowaway, HK-47, Sand People, Missions Brother, Trouble, Gets Cut, Missing Companion. <sighs> yep, okay, I messed that up, but at least I found the area. What's over here, maybe? I haven't been over it. Wait, am I going? No, I need to go north. North! Right? 
Wait, what? Where am I? Oh, I was- for some reason I thought it was over here. I need to go over here. Oh, wow. I- hey, I'm trying. You asked for this! Oh, you make such sad sounds while dying. Wow, we're getting all of them. All of them. Oh, just, you know, we need to level up. It's fine. Oh. Cart's gonna die. He's got two of them. Let's go! Oh my gosh, I didn't know. You, why? Ha, how'd you like that? Come on, go, go, go. Ha, how'd you like that? I mean, we need to level up, so... It's not bad. Not a bad thing. I'm a coder fan, but not here to spoil stuff. You guys are good. You guys are good. I should... I don't mind. Like, it's gonna happen. I'm playing this live, you know. It's it's a risk you take. Yeah! Nice! I'm really good at this. Oh, they're just, like, chilling and sleeping. I don't want to hurt them. I need to level up, but I don't want to kill them. No? Your command for no spoilers is no? <laughs> oh, man. Where's that crazy lady? This is my first time playing Coder's Act Attack. I've been playing it for, like, I feel like years, uh, off and on. But yes, this is my first time playing. Strange Ruins. I don't want to go to the Strange Ruins. I gotta find that lady who was being creepy about her droid. Coder, but trying to spoil, please. Okay, cool. That is a, that is an excellent title. Come on. Spooky. <laughs> Dice. That actually is really good. Dice has been stripped of anything that made them what they once were. Oh wait, I shouldn't use that ability. <laughs> Look at the way it dies. Blah, with its tongue out. How unfortunate. It does get more fun after you play it. And then you put mods in it. See, yeah, and that's the thing is some people have, have said, oh, it's weird to see it without mods. But I'm definitely the purist who likes to play it without mods first, and then I put mods in after that. But I 100% I, I love mods. I love them. I just like to play the original <laughs> first. <laughs> Greetings, fellow sentient. With a much noble purpose. <laughs> purpose? She's a Rodian. I think. This is where I put my mods if I had it on PC. They can do a lightsaber is pretty heavily armed. I know, right? Right? Like, I'm a Jedi. My dude. I've got a, like a double-bladed lightsaber. I'm like the best. Right, right. You get used to the game, then you put mods in. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's a good way to do it. You remember playing this when you were like six and you had no idea it was you hacks? And you accidentally killed Johanny. That's a Bible thumb for sure. I do have Johanny. I guess I do, I do get guidance every now and then <laughs> to make sure I don't mess up. <laughs> At least big time with companions. Uh, mission? It was an accident though, Stone Smith. It was an accident! <laughs> Why are you calling me out? 
Didn't I kill her? Didn't I kill her and I had to reload? Like, what I did is I accidentally chose the wrong thing to say and she attacked me. And I had to go back and redo it. I think that's what happened. But I ended up, it took me like, oh, and also like, you think you still, do you still have to fight her a certain amount? Because she was like wrecking my day, I think. I think, I feel like she was like actually destroying me. Uh, it wasn't an accident the first time. Like, yeah, yeah. Like mine was like, I was trying to keep her alive, but I chose the wrong options on accident. Like, I guess I chose them not realizing it would lead to me trying to kill her. And I was like, no, I had to say, I had to reload. Okay, it's okay. We don't know. Oh, thank you, Stone Smith. We definitely don't need to worry about it. I can take that, uh, that little... I think I can take that off at the top if it gives you anxiety. But thank you for all the Frank or Z's. Let me... Oh, do I have any maps of the area? My dude, I should have come to you way sooner. What are you selling? Okay. Whoa! Sinagar War- <gasps> This one looks real nice! This one looks pretty! Cassis, Cassis Fett's battle armor. A Fett? Whoa. Whoa! It's very expensive! Wow! Wow! Stumpatom, blaster pistol. Okay, what can I sell? Um... Jedi Knight Robe? Do I have a Jedi Knight Robe right now, or am I just wearing a regular one? Vibro Sword? Look at all these crystals! Blue, Bondar, Green, Red, Rubat, Violet, Yellow, Blaster Pistol. Uh, let's, uh, sell the Blaster Pistols. We'll sell, uh, y yes, okay. Oh, so it's just, it's not telling me that, that the, that the seller is limited on their funds. It's telling me this object is worth a lot. Are you sure you want to sell it? And I'm like, yes. Sonic Rifle, Mandalorian Assault Rifle. I'll sell one of those. Wow, I have a lot of money all of a sudden. Do I keep... Oh, they're not actually worth anything. Okay... Sure thing. The rest of this, I don't know. You had like five persuade, but you could kill stuff in one hit. Cause your six year old mind knew how it worked. Your six year old brain was like, persuasion? Psst, who needs that? <laughs> we just gotta hit things harder. <laughs> the blaster pistol crystal? Is that an actual thing? <laughs> The mines? Oh, should I buy the mines? Oh, no, 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 you're right. There were the frag, the, the frag, not, not the frag, but the, like, other ones. Okay. La, 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 la. Oh, I should buy those. I should buy those. I think I have, like, a... No, 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 no. Maybe I don't? Oh, I don't have the kind that I want to sell. I think. Okay. Show buy list. I would like to buy a some frag grenades. Oh, 
Okay, there's some equipment that can up my repairs to so keep an eye out for them. Okay, I do want to buy. Frag grenades. Sonic! Okay, ion. Concussion! Adhesive. Whoa. I'll buy a couple of those. And I'll buy a couple concussive grenades. Grenades are a girl's best friend. My droid is still missing. I can feel him like a hole in my aching I heart. Mean, I mean, lady, I get it. Like, droids are like, you know, they're like people, sort of. But at the same time, it's like, lady. Should I lie? I feel like I should lie. Should I lie? No, I think I told him I wouldn't lie. Nah, did I did I tell him that I would tell her that she needed to like that he asked to die? Or that I that I could say he had been destroyed by cat hounds. Grenades are our girl's best friend be a much better song. It would indeed. Yes, this is this is the robot that didn't want to be a sex bot, but got kinda turned into a sex bot. That we destroyed. And I think I told him that we would tell her I don't remember if we tell we told her we would say that he was destroyed before I found him or that I destroyed him on purpose because he asked for it. Her droid had a special feature, the vibrate? Ugh. Maybe she installed it later. The tweet like in the enclaves has an item that ups your repair by three, costs 3,000? Oh boy. Uh, well, I could probably sell a couple more of my rifles. You kind of should lie. Okay, I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna lie. I, that's what I kind of was leaning towards, but I don't really feel like telling her that I had to destroy it. I feel like this this solves both things. We're like, you know, she knows that he's destroyed, but it's not necessarily my fault. <laughs> so I yeah, I'm gonna lie. My droid Success destroyed? No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. Wait, what? Lady there's, uh, more to your life. Is she gonna, like, jump off the bridge or something? Why did we, like, watch her walk away? She ran off towards the Jedi Enclave. So now I have to follow her? Come back, lady. Oh, I should talk to John as well. He must have been a really great sex bot! Telling that he wanted to die is the evil path. Okay, thank you. Like, it's the truth, so I feel like the truth the truth shouldn't be evil, but at the same time, like, sometimes the truth isn't actually a good thing, you know? So. Have you found the Mandalorian Raiders yet? The truth can be more painful and more detrimental to a person than a nice little, little white lie. I fought and killed the leader! Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. He's a beautiful person. Black hair, blue eyes. Uh, thank you. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. <gasps> a thousand credits. Ah, oh, nice. Like, I wish I could be, like, so self, like, self-sacrificing as to not take any reward, but this is an economy. Things cost money. Say that he found him dead and what he wanted. Okay, I couldn't remember what he wanted. Like... If he wanted me to tell her that I killed her or that I found him dead. Whoop. Hello, Balea. Where's the lady? I also need to find out what to do with my stowaway. Like, what do I do with my stowaway? She lives... She's supposed to be on Dantooine somehow. Some way. She died? She didn't die! She ran off towards the Jedi Enclave! Okay, you guys don't have anything useful, probably. Let's see. I have a stowaway. Can any of you help me? Greetings, young Padawan. 
Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As chronicler of the academy here on Dantooine, you should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons ah, yeah. you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. Mm -hmm. Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. Okay. I will think on this. May the Force be with you. Hey, you guys are useless. She's in the guest quarters? <gasps> I'll find her. I might sneeze. Oh, boy. Whew. Bless me. Uh... Force, Valor, buffs your attributes and intelligence, boosts your skills. So that's another way to up repair temporarily. You don't fall to the dark side, you leap towards it. Well, you know, I spin my lightsaber all the way to the dark side. <laughs> Where are, so that's the Jedi Council Chambers, Outer Courtyard, Mercantile. This is the, where's the, the guest quarters are over here, I think. Like those are those little rooms. Come on. Yo, what up? I hear that the Sith have defeated another Republic Whoa. battle fleet. Really? I do not know how much longer the Republic can Like, last. is that updated information? Hi. You're not who I want. Are, are you? Achuta. Unga could be. Oh my gosh. Don Patugas Bactilia. Oh. No. Gino no! No! I don't want to play that card game. I don't. Just like little Annie. Oh boy! Little Annie blundered into the dark side. He's a poor exception. No dark side tries to seduce you, promising all that you could ever want. So basically, Lemon Z? Lemon Z promises all you could ever want? Is, is, that, is that the case? What? This was the guest quarters that I... Okay. Aha! Wait, I don't actually... You're not who I want, but... I... Oh, it is! I took the loss of my droid much too hard. I feel I must apologize. You're alive! Who's this guy? Hmm? Who's this? She's... Hmm? At least she's... You know, into a, you know, flesh and blood person. But I must. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again, be with me still. But I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Samt. An absolutely fascinating Okay. Man. All right, then. I'm sorry I walked in and barged in on you guys. <laughs> so what she did is she went, she jumped from one relationship to, an, to another, which is bad. You got to be able to take a break and, like, become your own person. But it seems like she can't ever be her own person. She always has, she always has to define herself by who her lover is. Yeah, she was. Black Fem Geek! Welcome, Black Fem Geek! She was. Yeah, she was. She turned her droid into a sex bot. He definitely strongly implied that. Oh, he doesn't look that impressed. BFC Bear! <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's so mean! <laughs> I'd say that and then like side eye over to Karth, but no. I'll be like, this is like the awkward, yeah. He seems quite nice. He hasn't spoken yet, but he looks very generic and vanilla. So, yeah, I'm sure he's nice. You said hello earlier and I didn't... He is the rebound and I didn't see... I am so sorry, Black Femme Geek. Next time, you just need to, like... You need to, like, say it over and over and say, Squirrel! Squirrel! Pay attention to me! And then I'll be like, Black Femme Geek, I love you! I apologize. Uh, he seems quite nice. Sam and I got to talking, and well, we have a we lot in common. We both like to bang robots. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as fate, after all. But I think we should be going now. We have so much more to talk, talk about. about. 
I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me and what you tried to do. Goodbye, and thank you. Well, that worked out amazingly well. Oops. I just touched a car's butt. Hey, gimme, gimme. Oh, I should heal. Look how cute we are all lighting up together. It's been like 10 minutes. This woman is very fickle. I know, she is. She's just as bad as Romeo. Let's be real here. She's just as bad. Can I steal from this? No. Talk about. Talk about. We have things to talk about. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Does anybody have any hints? For my strange... I was trying to end that sentence with stowaway, but I guess the mic didn't catch it. I don't know. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.